what to do right now on the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Market. We are going to be talking about yesterday the absolute panic carnage on the market. That was absolutely madness. We're going to be talking about why did that happen and also how to recover from that, when to buy and sell your players as well. It's always changing on a daily basis and the future of the market. What is going to be happening? Is it going to be recovering or going down and also why again? Make sure you guys do watch the full video until the end because all of your questions that you are urging to comment they are definitely going to be answered so just make sure you do stay until the end of the video so getting straight into this one now we did talk about it in yesterday's late upload i did want to quickly inform you guys because it was an absolutely amazing time to buy your cards for your team or as in general investments for amazing flips and i do know a lot of you guys did because of course that's what i was talking about exactly pretty much like we talked about exactly that is how it happened and why did the prices actually crash? So pretty much price ranges were updated. We were thinking, why is it taking EA so long? Apparently they don't really work on weekends. So they did do it on that Monday. And of course, it isn't a coincidence. They did it at the same time as Champions and Ultimate Edition. The full game came out for lots of people and also pre-order packs with those editions. So a lot of people opened the pre-order packs, price ranges as well. There was so much panic. People were thinking, should I go ahead and buy these cards? investments what should I all do so that did also cause the third thing which is panic and that was the main thing pretty much we saw cards that were absolutely not related to price ranges or really that would be affected by a lot of supply going down for example we did see Allen, Usman Dembele all of these cards who just randomly started going down so you guys were a bit shocked by that but I was replying to comments of you guys and I was saying make sure you just keep hold on to your cards because it is going to be recovering and today Day, the market did recover there were lots of price ranges that were successful for example why Naldum he was extinct and again he's extinct now for 30,000 coins more and also Werner he went up 60,000 coins Ed Militao was very good as well there was however a few bad ones as well with good we also expect bad and there was so much supply as well so many people pretty much had all of these cards pent up they were just sniping them and everyone was waiting to sell them all together at one time so that is why we did see that night pretty much just turn into absolute carnage i was awake for most of it i did then later go to sleep the market was still when i woke up 8 a.m 9 a.m uk time it was still pretty bad but then later on in the afternoon uk time it did recover and keep that in mind as well for the future of the market as we go on to talk about that now it is always good to know when the market every single day is usually at its highest point and also at its lowest point so usually if the the market isn't affected by any external factors such as supply on the market by packs lightning rounds or anything like that or there isn't sudden demand from weekend league just the average day for example just the tuesday wednesday when nothing really is going on usually uk time we are seeing now 5 p.m 4 p.m is a good time to sell your cards because that is when the market is pretty high people are logging on and that's just before they do go down in the evening in the evenings we do see sort of 2 a.m 3 a.m that is a sort of of time every single day UK time again where we do see some nice cards that would go down a little bit in price it depends on who the card is but maybe 5,000 coins down for Martial or 10k down and then in the afternoon again he is going to recover so it can be a chance to make coins keep that in mind and this Thursday morning we are going to have division rival rewards that is going to be making the market go up so we are going to be looking out for some investments on that possibly on Wednesday so that is definitely a good thing to keep in mind the market is pretty much going to be recovering a nice upward slope until i would say thursday night friday early morning that's when standard edition comes up and just like we did talk about in this video we can probably expect a little dip again similar to today that evening is just going to be full of a lot of just panic in general but because we did go through it already i do believe it should be reduced not really to that extent also pre-order packs aren't going to be coming out on Fridays but I do still think there are going to be a lot of new players coming on a lot of new supply if they're going to be playing division rival rewards there are going to be placement rewards also if there is going to be some SBCs they're doing supply on the market that way so we are going to see exactly what's going to be happening but just do keep in mind that the market is going to be recovering I do feel a small dip though when we are going to be getting standard edition just that evening is going to be sort of how we had it last night but then it is going to be 
recovering on that Friday afternoon. So that is going to be fine. Then one to watch is going to be starting. So we are going to be making videos on that. That's going to be very interesting. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought about last night. Did you guys make any coins or maybe you potentially lost any coins if you panic sold some cards? Hopefully not. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.